Hi, in this video, I wanna talk about three things that you should never do when taking a math class. These are things that really, really are not good to do, and if you avoid these three things, I think you're going to do much better in your classes. Also, I should mention that these are things that sometimes people do without even thinking about them. So you might actually be doing these things and you might not know it. The first thing that you should never do is never let the teacher discourage you, okay? So realize that most of the time, I would say, I'm just gonna throw out a number here, 95% of the time, teachers really care, right? They teach because they want to do it, they want to be there, they're, they're trying to be helpful. I mean, most teachers really love teaching. So realize that most of the time, if you think that like the teacher doesn't like you, or you're going to class and you think, oh, the teacher hates me, most of the time, that's not true, okay? I find that a lot of people, when they're taking a class, they'll think that like the teacher is out to get them or something like that, that, that is not the case, okay? <laughs> so trust me, um, it's, just, it's just not the case. Teachers have tons of students, right? So they really, really, really can't hyper-focus on a single student and think about, you know, it's just, it's not something that is very common. Now, when it does happen, at the same time, you know, if, if your teacher, you feel like they really are discouraging you, don't let it get you down, okay? Because you, you can't let one bad experience, you know, ruin your education and, and your life. You know, so if, if you have a teacher and for some reason you feel that they're bringing you down or, or they don't like you or, or they're not being supportive, it's okay, right? Because you have to make it okay because it's your life, right? it's your education, it's your life, it's gonna be your career. So what matters more than anything is, is your success. And honestly, nobody cares more about your success than you. So if you're taking a class and there's like this disconnect between you and the teacher, like maybe you don't like the teacher or you don't think the teacher likes you, it doesn't matter, right? I had a class once many years ago and I had a teacher and he was really, really good. But I always thought that like he came across kind of harsh. I'm like, ah, you know, I don't think he likes me. I don't think the teacher likes me. And I felt that way. I felt that the teacher didn't like me. Did he like me? I don't know. He made a weird comment once that I thought made it seem like he really didn't like me. At the same time though, I told myself, I don't care because who cares what he thinks, right? Because I'm responsible for my own success and you should be responsible for your own success. So don't let that bring you down. The second thing you should never do when taking a math class, and this one is a little bit easier to say than actually do, is don't fall behind. So I'm semi okay at this. I was always like pretty good at staying caught up, but I wasn't like, you know, the top student, like on top of things, you know, always have my homework done. <laughs> no, right, not the case. But you can't fall behind, okay? If you, Because if you do, it's really hard to catch up and it just creates a very, very like stressful experience. So my advice would be to try to do a little bit every day. If you just do maybe an hour a day of math, you'll be able to stay caught up for the most part. Now, in some classes, that might not be enough. I, I took a class once in grad school. I would come home from class and I would sit down and it would take me about three hours to rewrite all of my notes and try to prove everything that the teacher discussed in class. And I honestly was not able to always do it. It was just too much information. I mean, the teacher would go on the board and he would just scribble and talk. I mean, the man was a genius. He passed away a few years ago, but brilliant, right? Brilliant, but it was just too much, right? So a class like that, an hour is not gonna cut it. But the point is, be consistent, right? By being consistent, you won't allow yourself to fall behind. And it creates for a better experience for you. It's healthier, right? It's not great to cram, right? Cramming is not great. It's better to be consistent and have like, you know, a balanced life. You know, study a little bit, have a little bit of fun. The third thing you should never do is isolate yourself. It's really not a good idea. This is something that I did a lot of as both an undergrad and a graduate student. I would isolate myself quite a bit. Um, you know, it's not good. There are a lot of really, really smart people in the world. And if you're an undergrad or a grad, depending on the class you're taking and depending at the school you're at, you might have some really, really intelligent classmates. 
And if you isolate yourself, you are limiting yourself, right? You're not going to have the opportunity to work with some people like this. I mean, I've met a lot of really, really brilliant people in my life, and I feel like I should have spent more time with those people, learning from them, learning how they study, learning how they do math. Just, it helps to work with other people. Also, if you isolate yourself, you're not going to make friends, right? Sometimes, you know, the people that you meet in college, those are the friends that you're going to have for, for a long time. So it's always better to not isolate yourself. So go out there, make friends, and, and work with your classmates. You know, if you stay up all night and you figure out that key step in the proof and, and you go to the class the next day and no one's figured it out, be that person, right? Be that person who, who shares, right? Sharing is caring. Um, it's not a competition, right? I mean, you can make it one if you want to, and sometimes that's a good way to do it if you want to you know, motivate yourself. It's always fun to have some competition. Competition can be healthy, but at the same time, um, you don't want to be greedy, right? Don't isolate yourself, help others, and I think it's better that way. So those are three things that you should never do when studying math. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.